Hey guys, we're playing Geist up against Harmony Medtech. Um, this is okay. We have the Desperado, so I'm gonna run with it. It's a little sketchy against Cortex Lock if he's playing it, which we don't really know. Harmony Medtech could be anything. Gonna ice up. No economy. Seems fair. Ooh. Crowbar. Yeah, I'll put Desperado out. Probably face check these guys in the near future. Cortex Lock is actually pretty good against Geist because he often has the cloud set up and then he has just like a jillion dollars or a jillion MU available. We're gonna do this motion thing. Is that what's happening? Um, wish I had a different breaker. Oh, that's not bad. See if we can get in this. Prevent him from at least scoring on if it's, if it's a motion we care about. Quandary, yep. We're gonna get a card, which lets us avoid scorch. And a siphon hits for value. So now we gotta think, is this a Ronin? If it's June Bug, it's six damage, which kind of is inconvenient for us. We can't actually siphon him again because we don't have another way to get our, our code gate. If we just check this motion and possibly die. Yeah, we do. Is a June bug. Well, shucks. I won't lose a bunch of cards we didn't especially need. The fairies would have been decent to have a, at least one for a backup, but I'm not gonna let him get away with any shenanigans in this out here in this remote. First game against him, I saw a motion of future perfect on turn one, and then I ran it. Well, I siphoned him and ran it. So he's certainly willing to just throw out three pointers and see what happens. Um, okay. We have cards to spare. It's it's fine. Jackson Howard, pretty much what you'd expect. I think it's pretty safe to just float against him. I doubt he can do much of anything. Let's get some more breakers online. Well, let's get rid of the Jackson. Okay, he's gonna let us trash it for two. A little two net. I have no problem with that. Let's cycle this. We could keep it, but he might just trash it. So he's kind of too poor. So put a shift down, and we got two breakers covered. We got our second siphon lined up. We can find a passport or any more of our crowbar. Psychic field? I don't know. I'm actually less inclined to run the unadvanced because psychic field is super annoying. 
It's probably no good to us. Nor that. I'm going to actually dangle this for him. If he wants to trash this for two in an action, that's going to hamper him. He's got no economy rolling. Another motion. Boy, I really want a decoder. Can we get one? Nope. Well, let's see if we'll spend some money. Okay. So he's definitely into the cheap uh, early game ice. Since we're tragically not playing Parasite, where this is going to be effective. I'll still see it. Medical Research Fundraiser. Okay. Honestly, I'm inclined to run that motion. Let's see it. June bug again. cards for code gate breakers so they're not I'm not that concerned about them and importantly he's still on zero points plus there's no Ronin's hanging over us either he could have had an early MP that would have sucked but he needs exactly that so whatever sucker's not bad There's a crowbar. In this case, the fundraiser is fine. We already have so much money, it doesn't matter. Although, we are going to try and siphon it from him. So we'll see what's in front. I can't believe I'm going to crescent a quandary, but I, I am. <laughs> Just for the card draw. Quicksand, yep. Actually, we're going to de res that, I think. Since it costs three, we might as well. It's going to cost him more to re-res it. So, hand is full. Another full siphon. Thanks for the medical research fundraiser. care about these. They could be like random 3-2s, I guess. I feel like I don't care about them. Oh, well, this keeps the counter for d -resid. That's kind of cute. Come on, Passport. Can we find Passport? We totally cannot. Shahrazad, it's kind of fun. We have too much money already, though. Huh. I'll dangle this for him to kill if he wants. He's so poor. Like, he is desperately poor. Sucker probably not needed because his ice is so small, but he might have a few larger ones that could benefit from a sucker token here or there.
I think he probably should kill this. I mean, he, he knows that we can siphon again if, if he doesn't. And now we even know how much all his ice costs, so we can calculate how good our siphon is. So our last 15 cards are stacked. We have SMC, we have Croder, we have Passport, we have Maker's Eye, um, we have two more Fall Guys, we have a Sneak Door. Yeah, all our good stuff's at the bottom, so it makes me feel better about taking 12 net damage to those random June bugs. So, interesting that he didn't... He, he better use Jackson this time, I think. He's discarding massively. There's already a bunch in there that I didn't want to check in case they were like Shiki or whatever. Not that he could have really paid for Shiki. I suppose like a combination of Shiki and Shock would have still been a pain for us. See what our first card is. Clone ship is pretty good. It's gonna let us run siphon or whatever. Let's get rid of this Jackson for sure. So the Utopia is pretty good. I think think what we do is just sit tight for it. I don't really want to hit sight field. And I don't care enough about these unadvanced cards. He's got a gift. He has some money. Look at that. Fetal, he has the EMP, so we were a bit lucky earlier that he didn't have it earlier. Okay. Good to know. He's bursting up to 15. So we really want to find ourselves a nice copy of Passport or Corroder so we can siphon him. Nope. Also nope. Wow. Hmm. Don't overly care for any of those cards that he has. Let's just... Let's draw again, shall we? Yeah, let's draw again. I don't want this Desperado, I don't want this testing. And I really want the cards that are clearly all on the bottom of my deck. Whoa! Okay, well... Let's pop the clone ship. For... Crowbar. So at least we have one of each. Let's cycle the fog eye for another card. See a sneak door. That's really not what I want. We can run siphon, but it eats our breakers. And then we can't do the second siphon, which is what we really want. Well, let's siphon and see if we can draw ourselves into the other stuff we want. Because we'll draw two cards from this siphon. Go through that. There's the SMC. And there's a clone ship. Cool. Um, need Thunder Counter and Quicksand. I 
So how do you feel about running into this? That could be future perfect. I think we just siphon it a few more times and not go there. Set up for next turn. So I want to run out of cards completely in my stack, which we're certainly headed that way. Filet eye, yep. <laughs> Not relevant, even a little bit. Well, he's now on two. Um... Let's crack this SMC and get our passport out, which we've not been able to find till now. So we can same old thing siphon. We've got. We can also run R and D, kind of like that. The sneaker is not bad either. But there's got to be a lot of points in R and D because he sent sent things back a couple times and there's three face down in archives well he has two dollars i'm going to check the archives crick um yeah a little expensive but we can afford it Makes the sneak door a lot worse though. Sneak door in general got a lot worse since that happened. See motion biotic. What kind of influence spread is happening here? Well, at least his motions are all gone. We diffuse them the hard way. On one credit, we can still hit a June bug, but we wouldn't care that much. And our odds are pretty good. Let's see what this is. Medical breakthrough, yeah. Um, I'm not going to run this fourth because if we do hit psychic field and lose, then he can like click click EMPS. But with one credit, the R and D seems fairly safe. I mean, we could actually draw the clone ship to avoid die in that scenario, so it might be okay. But this is another access serial overrider. Get rid of that. Like, I think we can manage this credit total to come through this, despite having no damage protection whatsoever. And having a very unlucky draw with our SMC and permanent breakers in the bottom. It's going to be okay. Well, I think we run Siphon here, and then we can check this safely. So this goes to three. We're going to have to pay a dollar. So this is now equal to a wall of static. For whatever that matters, right? At the same cost as wall of static. We're really not a fan of of quicksand. Now I'll do a safe check here. Psychic field, okay. Succeeded in the psi struggle, so we were pretty wise to avoid that until he was poor. Mm, as for these remaining cards, I almost want to just slam into R&D and then discard one. Well, the Utopia Shard's not the worst. We would be able to knock out maybe his EMP. I don't think we care about that too much. Let's get some more accesses and try to just end this game. Um, yeah, I'll break this. I wanna pick which card to discard. Snowflake. Well, I'm pretty sure this sneak door is not good with a crick there. So neither is the gamble or the testing. 
And now we have to just stop playing cards. So we don't run out. So we need six points, which is probably two more agendas. And we're out of siphon, so he's gonna be able to actually get um, get money in peace. But I think it's way too late for him. Swordsman. Ah. Uh. Let's de res that. So we're going to crack this for a Crescentus. And we can one, two, three, this breaks. There's our maker's eye. I was wondering when that was going to show up. Reclamation order. Really? Huh. Do you want a Utopia him? Knock his hand out? We don't know too much now what's in there. Yeah. Well. No, let's just play our breakers out in case we need them for something. I doubt we will, but they're there. He's used one jacks and the ones in the heap. Are his agendas? If he raises the swordsman again, we'll let him because it's one net damage. We can just take it. All right, let's fire the makers and let's try to win here. Yeah, he doesn't res it. Makes sense. He doesn't want to go totally broke and lose his side game. Celebrity gift, reclamation order, combine you. Woo! Mind you. Interesting. All right. Well, we're apparently just not seeing agendas. I guess they could be in his hand, or he's hiding a whole bunch of them in the archives. So we'll shard out, and we'll check out these cards in the archives. So these suckers are saving us money, but we don't really even need the money. Pop the shard. And we'll see if we hit anything exciting. Future perfect. Yeah, that's good to have in there. Future perfect again. <laughs> oh, okay. I think he may have just morally given up. I mean, we could, we could run there again, right? So if he paid money, he's just spending his money. Well, a little dicey in terms of number of cards left, but we had convincing control of his money supply basically the whole time. Well, thanks for watching, guys.